Should've known it when we found you snoring next to Lapino's corpse. A comedian, huh? Michelle looked at me from the photo. The pain family, happiness captured in a Polaroid moment. I had thought it would last forever, till death do us part. I didn't want to think about it. As long as I didn't, it could never happen. But I had broken my own rule. The thought had already slipped in. Fear was rusty needles poking at my brain. Cold and scaly, it slithered down my chest. The pictures were filled with good old times. Alex and I had a few moments of glory between us. Crime-fighting comrades, the best in NYPD DEA collaborative team. Good-hearted macho bullshit like that. I would have given anything to have him here as my backup. No such luck. No luck at all. I really love the watch cartoons. Captain Baseball Bat Boy is my favorite. <laughs> Watch cartoons. Captain Baseball Bat Boy is my favorite. No, no, please, God, no. holes, blow them to bits, vaporize them, disintegrate them, no matter what you do, they'll still be back good as new. Michelle's diary lay on the table. <laughs> Max, no, please, Max! Why? I 
didn't mean to. I'm sorry. Murderer! You killed her! Nothing like that ever happens in a real world. I woke up in a bad dream. My head felt two sizes too small for my brain. Max Payne. I envy your name. And the killer was smiling. Pleased to meet you. I'm Frankie to bat Niagara. Niagara, as in you cry a lot? He had a baseball bat and I was tied to a chair. Pissing him off was the smart thing to do. Nothing wrong with a little laugh now and then. Take me, for example. I love to watch cartoons. Cartoon violence is a fascinating thing. Let's take a break. I need to take a leak and maybe grab a cold one at the bar. Don't worry. I'll be back to finish this off. And then, it's checkout time. You play, you pay, you bastard. He swaggered out, and the door clanged shut behind him, locks clicking into place. Everyone makes mistakes. Mine hadn't been to crack jokes about the goon with the bat. He'd have cracked my skull regardless. It hadn't even been to trust a girl with a gun. I had blindly gone after the first bad guy on my hit list when I should have been aiming further up the ladder, at the head of the Punchinello family. I couldn't bring myself to be pissed at Mona. I guess I had a soft spot for a pretty face. But when somebody decides to play baseball with your head, you tend to get sore. They had dragged me back to the basement of Lupino's hotel. I was beaten, bruised, and blue. I felt like the chair I had broken to get free. All I had was Niagara's bat, sticky with my own blood. Without a gun, I'd be no match for Frankie's men. I'd have to play hide-and-seek with them. <laughs> 